In this part of the tutorial, we're going to um, build the belly of the aircraft right here where the wheels fold into the aircraft. Uh, also the uh, wheel doors and also the front wheel doors here. If you bring up a reference image, uh, this is where the, um, the wheels fold into the aircraft here. So we'll, we'll be building that first. So to start out, I'm going to use a box here and I'm going to draw the box outwards. Let's make this, uh, we're going to hide our aircraft here so we can see what's happening. Right click on box and select editable poly and select vertex. Drag your box out to your shape. And I'm going to unhide everything again. And let's go to um, Hierarchy, Effect Pivot, and Center to Object. So it centers the, uh, the XYZ coordinates in the very center of the object, so we can align it up with our aircraft and uh, Alt X on our box here so we can see what's happening with the blueprint behind it. Uh, let's se select all of these corners. I mean edges. I'm going to Alt X on our aircraft. Actually, no. I'm going to hide our aircraft for now. Alright. Select Edge Mode and select these uh, two edges here. Actually, let's uh, select polygon mode and delete the top polygons because we don't really need them. And then we can select the edges and then click on connect and let's give this a connection of three segments. And then, um, let's see here. Let's go to vertex mode again and we can move this one up here now we don't really need to do anything to this side because we're going to uh, delete that anyway so delete that part and um, let's go back to this mode here left uh, left or right uh, side and select your edge edges and select all of these edges here and let's give this um, a 3 connect with a pinch of about 28. And select a vertex. And let's move these vertexes up and then inward. So I'm going to get the scale command and I'm going to scale it on the x axis so it scales them inward. Let's select these edges here, I mean vertexes. Scale them inward slightly. and upwards. So it kind of looks like a boat. So you see the edges, uh, the um, ends of our uh, our, uh, our aircraft uh, bay is um, kind of uh, flat here there's no there's no lines we need to connect those lines so um, I'm gonna go over here to cut and I'm gonna cut some lines in here make one there and one there and also on this side here Okay, so click on edge. I'm going to pull this edge out. And I'm going to do the same to this edge too. Okay, so now I'm right clicking and unhide all. And as we can see, um, it's kind of open here. So let's select this edge right here. 
and we can ring this or loop it. Uh, actually, we want to go to wireframe and we want to just deselect these and deselect those. And then uh, smooth highlights and let's bring this in slightly. And if we apply a turbo smooth, actually click on your aircraft, copy our two or turbo smooth here, and um, apply our turbo smooth. we get something like this. Now it looks fairly nice. Let's add it to our aircraft and see what the other side looks like. And so that's the belly of our aircraft right there. It looks fairly good. Okay, so now what we need to do, let's uh, select all the wheels here. If we select all the wheels, let's detach these wheels. Let's select the wheels, hierarchy, effect pivot, pivot only, center to object. And let's get uh, wireframe mode and move our pivot point all the way up to the very end of our wheels. So one of the things I like to do so that I don't lose my original position of my model um, uh, I like to animate it, so if you, if you click on Auto Key and then you click on Set Key and then you move this to 100 and then we get our Rotate command and then we can rotate our wheels all the way down inside the belly of the aircraft and click on Auto Key Off. So we can now rotate the wheels back and forth on the aircraft so we can rotate them down while we're making our slices inside the body of our aircraft so we know exactly where to cut. Click here and ring so we get a ring selection and um, click on settings and we just need one um, with a slide of well, let's say a slide slide of 35, negative 35. And we can actually move our wheels over slightly. And now we can take this and take this portion and take this portion and let's detach but detach to element and then select edge and we need to select this and loop excuse me not loop um, I'm going to uh, take these and let's go down here and select um, hide unselected. That way we can actually work on the whole model here. Um, okay, so we want to select these edges here and click on connect and we want two segments at a pinch of 90. And we're going to do that the same for this side here and this side here as well. and let's select our newly created doors. We're going to detach and then we're going to click on our doors here. 
um, effect um, we're going to click on hierarchy effect pivot only center to object and let's get wireframe here we'll hide these for now and we want to move this down to the very end of our our doors here. Let's make sure that it's lined up properly. And we can rotate them. And hide all. And uh, let's select our our body. We're going to open up um, uh, element mode. Scroll all the way down click on unhide all and then uh, deselect element mode and click attach and let's um, make our wheels go back and let's uh, reattach the wheels When we turn turbo smooth on, we should have two doors that open up to take in the wheels. Now these doors, uh, you can make them thicker or thinner by um, uh, selecting them. I'll show you here. Um, first, let me save this. And if you uh, select uh, editable poly and select element, click on your door. I'm going to detach the door here. And if you click on your door, and I'm going to uh, affect pivot only center to object again. If you click on your door and you click on modifier and, you, and then you select shell from your list, at, press S a couple times on your keyboard. Um, and then you want shell. This will actually allow you to increase the size of your doors so they're a bit thicker if you want. So I'm going to load this up again. Okay, so pretty much the exact same uh, procedure that we did here uh, that we do on the door panels here on, on the front. detach from the element and then click on our door here hierarchy effect pivot only center to object and this one we want our pivot point to be right here In, actual, in actuality, um, this bay here doesn't really need to be open because the aircraft is on the ground, so I think I'm going to close it.
And there you have it. The uh, making of a Boeing 777-200 airline. In the next video, I'll show you how to texture the aircraft.